the studio. Yeah, we're right. You're such a good boy. Well, the Academy is having a big impact on everyone, even man's best friend. Veterinarians tell us they are, are not seeing as many people coming through their doors, and they think it's because more people are strapped for cash. But this cutback is having a bigger impact on animals than you might think. WMBF News reporter Heather Byance explains what vets are facing. For many people, they see their pet as another member of the family. But more and more pet owners are finding themselves at a crossroad. Do they pay for their furry friend's medication or do they pay their bills? And it's causing a new trend that veterinarians all across the nation are seeing, even right here in Conway, South Carolina. Wacomo Regional Veterinary Center says they've seen a drastic drop-off in the number of visits from pet owners, especially within the past six months. And that decrease concerns Dr. Randy Workhoven. He says he's now seeing more severe cases coming into his office because pet owners are putting preventative medicine on the back burner in order to save money. And because he isn't seeing them early on to prevent or treat these illnesses, he's having to put a startling number of these animals down. They're just caught between a rock and a hard place. And so we're seeing people pulling back on the non-necessities. But unfortunately, health care for pets is a necessity for that pet. Dr. Workhoven says we have to remember that one year in human life is equivalent to seven dog years. So if we skip on that annual checkup for our pets, it's seven years that they haven't been seen by a vet, and a lot can change in their bodies in that time. Reporting here at Wacom Regional Veterinary Center, Heather Bynes, WNBF News. Interesting, Heather. Thanks for that. Well, we always say we can't.